Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So in the previous video, we have discussed how we can consume the third party API in Angular. And there we were trying to just get the log of the API's data. But here in this video, we'll try to call the REST API and then we'll try to render that data in the HTML and then that data will be displayed in the browser. So let's get started for that. So first of all, what I will do, I will try to create one application and then we'll try to create one child component and thereafter we'll try to call the API and then render the data. So let's get started for that. So let me go to the folder and let me try to open a command prompt here. Okay, and let me try to create an application. So ng new, let's say the application name is REST call. Just enter it. It will take few second to create your application. So just wait for that. Would you like to add Angular routing? Let's say no. Which style set format would you like to use? Let's say CSS. And just wait for few seconds. So you can see it started installing the packages. Okay. So it will uh, take few seconds of time and it will create our application. So you can see our application is created now. So let me go to the folder. So let me come here. Let me go inside the application. So CD space application name REST API REST call. Okay, so we are inside the application. Now let me try to open this application in Visual Studio Code. So for that, let me try to run the command code space dot. So it will open up our application in the Visual Studio. Now you can see our application is there in the Visual Studio. So let me go to the source app. So you can see we have created the app component here. Okay, so everything is working fine. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create one child component. Okay. So how we can do that? So let me open the terminal here. And then let me create a child component. So the command for that is ng generate component and then the name of the component. So let's say it's rest and just enter it. So wait for a few seconds. Let's say no. Yeah, you can see it has generated our component. Here you can see inside the app, you can see the child component is rest. Okay, so now let me try to make our application up. So the command for that is ng serve space minus minus open. Okay, just wait for a few seconds. It is start building our application and in few seconds it will host our application locally on the port number 4200. So just wait for that. Okay, yeah. So you can see our application is up on the port number 4200. So what I need to do uh, let me try to remove all this unnecessary component. So let me go to the Visual Studio code. Go to the app component.html. Select everything and just simply remove it and save it. Now let me go to the browser. You can see we don't see any object here or any feature here, right? Now let me go. So we are good with the creation of application and the child component. Now what I need to do, I need to call the child component inside the main component. So for that, let me go to the rest component.ts and this is the selector name for the child component. Copy this. Now come to the 
app component dot html and then let me try to call it here so let's say okay just save it now let me go there so you can see we are able to call the child component inside the main component this text is being displayed from the child component let me try to show you so come to the visual studio code here you can go to the rest component.html and you can see this is the text okay so now we are good now let me try to go to the rest component.ts and here what we'll do we'll try to inject our http client module so let me try to create the constructor first okay now let me try to inject the http client here so let's say the variable is http and then we need to include http client okay now we need to import this class so let's say let me go to the let me copy this import statement and just paste down and then we need to import the HTTP client so name it HTTP client and the HTTP client is from angular common slash HTTP just save this so we are good now so what we did we just injected our HTTP client in the constructor now let me try to create a variable called posts okay of any type why we are creating this variable post because we are going to use the third party api and that third party api is returning the list of posts so let me try to show you that third party api so so go to the json placeholder okay go down in the resource you can see there is a free apis you can consume these apis so this post api is returning the list of posts and it has 100 posts so i am going to use this api so just copy it now go to the visual studio we have injected the http client now let me try to call this third party api so let me try to create a variable called response and then in response with the help of http we are just calling the api okay now what we need to do we need to subscribe the response so response dot subscribe and then data and then we are simply inserting the record inside the variable post that we have created so post this dot post is equal to data okay and just save it so what we are doing we injected the http client we are calling the third party api and then we are just uh, saving the data from the third party api inside the variable called post okay now what i am going to do i am just going to create a table to render this data in the rest component.html so go to the rest component.html remove this code and now let me go to the browser and then simply search for the HTML table now let me go down go to the w3 school try it yourself let me copy this code come here and just paste it out 
so let me try to change the table name so let's say posts table and we need to do some changes here so we need to change the field name and the data also so let me try to remove this static data okay just save it now what i need to do we need to go to the third party api okay and here you can see we have the fields called user id id title and body so we make our field like that so let me come here it's user id id title and then body so copy this paste down body okay now what we'll do with the help of the ng4 we'll try to iterate the post list and we'll try to fetch out each data one by one so let me try to remove this so here let me try to use the ng4 and uh, let me try to put the condition post of posts okay so we are creating one instance and with the help of that instance we are getting each element from the list called posts so you can see here inside the component.html sorry component.ts file we have created this variable called post and we are storing the data inside this variable and in the component.html we are just uh, we are just uh, iterating this list okay and fetching out the data so let me try to fetch each attribute here so post dot id okay let me try to copy this paste down we have four attributes user id and uh, id title and then body okay just save it okay so we are good now so what we did we just uh, injected the http client we are calling the third party api storing that in the response and then we are assigning those data into the variable called post and then we are entering those data into the html okay so now let me go to the app module.ts and then let me try to include the http client module here so http client module okay now let me try to import this and just save it come to the rest component.ts save it come to the rest component.html and then save it now let me go to the browser and let me go to the application so here you can see we are able to render our data in the browser so we are able to call the rest api and render the data in the html and then that is why we are able to see this data into the browser so we have the 100 records here inside the post list you can see this so this is about this video guys if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks